Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a, another speed build, taking a break from the Legacy Challenge for a little bit. Uh, not because someone dies in the second episode or anything weird like that. That mm, Not going to talk about it anymore. Anyway, it's Zane, obviously. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video, hanging around, checking out the speed build. This one, as you can see, is actually for a shell challenge that I found on Instagram. Um, it ends... By the time you see this, it will be the deadline. Uh, the deadline was the 31st of March. Um, this is from, I believe it's uh, Simmer K. Hay on Instagram. It's Simmer K and then Hay is H-A-I. I'll put a little hashtag down below, but um, they did a 1K shell challenge for reaching 1,000 followers on Instagram. So I figured I would give it a shot. Uh, Obviously, I'm recording this. It's the 30th of March. I posted the shell, well, my version of the shell, last night. So I am right at the deadline. You know me, right there at the last minute doing my thing. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to build lately, and it's just, I don't know. It hasn't been working. It just has It has not been working. I, For, for the life of me, I can't get a shell that I like, and then I just kind of give up. So I figured I would go back to some of the shell challenges that I have saved. That's kind of what I use Newcrest for in like the little building file that I've got, like the building save I have, because it's just a giant blank neighborhood and I have not felt like populating it yet. So I just take a bunch of shell challenges. There's um like an apartment shell challenge that I've got saved in there too. And I just throw them onto the random lots that are around the world and Whenever I get in a, a place like I am right now where I just do not feel like actually making my own shell and then making the whole house and the outside and everything, I visit Newcrest and see what sort of shells there are hanging around in there that are still active challenges um, because that that's usually a bit of a problem for me. Uh, I'll you know find it on instagram or twitter or wherever and save it and then by the time i come around to actually wanting to like mess with the shell challenge it'll it'll totally be over um but for this one i went with um it's mostly cats and dogs and seasons i just wanted to do a little build i tried to limit the packs i think i ended up using several um like game and stuff packs as well so i think it's like eight or nine different packs in total but most of the game and stuff packs it's just a couple items here or there for the most part this is seasons and cats and dogs and i did remember a trash can this time i totally forgot that on the build challenge i did recently um but there is a trash can on this and accidentally there are two mailboxes because when i tried to load it up it populated one on the front right corner it's like tucked into like where this tree and this big pond thing I put like in the front yard and that like open space. Um, so yeah, there's two mailboxes. You have to delete that if you download it. But otherwise, it's just a pretty typical house. I had a lot of fun with terrain tools. I'm still learning how to use those, having a lot of fun. Seeing what all I can do with them, the best ways to use them to manipulate different things. Like I tried like a sort of like a tiered entrance to the house so you've got like the steps up to like the front porch and then it you know you have like a little bit of space there and then it drops down again to the front i don't know i'm just having a lot of fun trying to figure out terrain tools and messing around with that and also as you can see no face cam this time i'm trying to figure out what's best for voiceovers for speed builds so let me know down in the comments but do you prefer like actually having like the face cam on there or just the voiceover or maybe even just music entirely up to you guys i kind of go back and forth with all of them but i know sometimes with like the face cam it's hard to find like a good place to actually put the face cam on the screen without it blocking some portion of the actual build that you're trying to watch assuming you're watching i know some people just kind of listen um which i do that a lot on twitch especially like if i'm working and i'm not on a call i'll just pop twitch on in the background someone who's just building or doing like the 100 baby challenge or a legacy challenge or something like that just for some background noise that isn't music that will potentially put me to sleep because i don't know what it is lately music just kind of kind of puts me to sleep but 
back to the actual build it's it's pretty small um that upstairs is the only bedroom and i thought about making like a little bathroom back in that corner where i just took the wall away from but it ended up making that a bed or a bathroom instead of a second bedroom and then tucked a little like laundry space there behind the stairs but yeah it's it's just a pretty cute little house the backyard and the landscaping is where most of the money went um there wasn't actually like a budget or anything like that for this one and at this point like in the fridge i kind of started deciding i was gonna build this house for like the not so berry challenge for like your starter sim on that which is like the mint um generation I think that's the right word, the mint generation. So, like, the outside's kind of got that greenish tone for that, I think it's seasons, like, wallpaper. Um, and then there's, like, accents of mint throughout the kitchen. And then, like, the entryway in the bedroom and, like, the living room. Everything has accents of, like, green. Uh, that was, like, a split-second decision. So, if you're planning on starting that and you don't want to build your own house, you could probably get away with using this one. Um, you may change a few things here and there. But... Yeah, I don't know. It was a spur of the moment inspiration. I think I was listening to like a Twitch stream where someone was starting the uh, Not So Berry Challenge, which I've never done, but I think I may do that at some point. I might start streaming streaming on Twitch just to try it out, see if I like it, have some fun while I'm still trapped inside the house waiting for vaccines and all that fun stuff. Um, you can see here, I realized there was nowhere to put a trash can and kind of reorganized like everything, but yeah, yeah, we, we figured it out eventually and there's not really a lot of space for a dining table, but it's a small house technically. So I figured this was maybe like one, two Sims max, um, probably like the cool aunt who doesn't, isn't actually married or have any kids of her own. But, you know, has her own cute little house with all the mint green stuff going on. And she's got a cool backyard with, like, a big pool for when the, you know, siblings, children's come over to hang out with the cool aunt. And there's, like, a monkey bar back there and some gardening space. Uh, but most of the most of the yard is, well, the front yard anyway, is that giant pool. Or not pool. Technically, it's a pool, but you pretend it's a pond. You make it into a pond and, you know put landscaping all around the edges to give it an interesting shape and make it just look like this random pond that's just kind of on the property for reasons and for the entryway it's not too impressive not too big or anything it literally one side of it pretty much every wall is an opening to something else so there's like the front door and then across from that is the door out onto the back deck and then on like the left and right sides are the archways into the kitchen and then into like the living room. And we're just cluttering the counters up a little bit. I did make sure to leave, I think it's one, yeah, one counters open so they can actually make stuff without you having to delete like the bread box or when I get like a fruit bowl and a few other things. So it is actually functional. And I did mess around with uh, different tiles, trying to find one that I actually liked think I ended up going with the one that's there now. It may have been like that bluish, greenish one instead. Um, but I filled the corner with a bunch of plants because I always hate when they try to make stuff on the corner counters. I don't know why. I just, I don't like it. Like it's useful function, especially in like a really small house, but it just, it kind of bugs me. I always put stuff on that so they don't do it. But we also went with the uh, mint green washer and dryer. There is laundry day in this pack and one hamper that I think I put in the bathroom. The upstairs, because it's so small and I put a double bed up there, there's not a lot of space, but it does have a little balcony you can walk out to, which is kind of nice. It has like um, an easel and like a little bench and some like plants and stuff out there. It's just a nice little spot. You can stare down at your deck and your pool and your lovely big backyard and all the beautiful surroundings that are the new crest landscape. <laughs> Oh, and I did a, I like to make, like, instead of just, like, the generic TV stands that, like, the game comes with that are, you, there's only, like, a few of them, and they're all kind of very just bland and basic. I like to do, like, a built-in type thing, and that's what I did again with this, because it just, 
I don't know. I like it better. I think it's a little more interesting. Originally, I was going to go with those from, I think it's Laundry Day. But I went with these from Parenthood instead. And then just some basic shelves and kind of slid everything back into the walls and the window. And eventually, I do slide those ones on the, the ends further in so they're not covering as much of the window. Um, but they're not sticking out from the outside. And they don't look too out of place. I just put, you know, like a bunch of shelving. I did have some issues getting the actual TV level with the top of those shelves because I sized down the little, um, like, end table hutch things from, I think those are from Parenthood, the little white stands that are supporting, like, the whole built-in that I've created. Um, I had to size those down to make them fit with the windows and so they wouldn't stick out of like the back end like sticking out to the outside of the house um so actually slotting the tv on it was kind of a pain because it will automatically slot it to the actual like original size of the item so then and then the red shelf would not work with the tv either i tried it a few different times i cut that out um well i cut most of it out. i think there was one little moment there that was just happening but yeah it was um it was interesting, and as you can see, there are books in the TV right now because it automatically tries to slot things there because there's technically a slot there, but there's not actually anything there. I do end up deleting that. I know it, it takes me a few minutes, so don't worry, guys. It uh, it goes away. That's not there forever. That is not a permanent fixture in the middle of your television, although it would probably make things very interesting, although it would make subtitles probably very difficult to read. I don't know about you guys, but... I like subtitles. Like, I don't technically need them unless I'm watching something in a language that I, I either don't speak or can't keep up with, even if I do speak it. And yes, there are a million plants happening on top of that because I, again, size that down and it has like a zillion slots and the red shelf, even with the red shelf, it would just keep jumping up to one of the slots. And since it's a small little plant item, there's, you know, like 12 slots. But yeah, back to subtitles, because I feel like talking about subtitles. I don't know. I like to use them. I don't need them, but I like to use them. I think it kind of started with when I started watching Doctor Who like years and years and years ago. And I don't know, like you can understand British accents fairly well without any issues, especially I follow so many um, like Sims YouTubers that are British, Welsh, Scottish, Irish that it's, it's not hard to actually understand it once you get used to it, but I just, I don't know. I think sometimes I just enjoy it to see the difference in the actual dialogue that's spoken versus the subtitles that show up on the screen. And I think part of it stems from the job I do. I work in tech support. We get a lot of, a lot of elderly people that call us that are uh, completely clueless, but a lot of them need subtitles because they're hard of hearing or it, it, there's lots of different reasons they need it, but a lot of them do need the subtitles. And it's it's weird how often the subtitles and the spoken dialogue don't match up. Like most of the time, if it doesn't match up, it's maybe like they cut out the word like, like or just, or maybe they sort of like rearranged the phrasing a little bit. Like they built the subtitles off of like the script instead of what's actually being said. But other times it's just, it's just so out of left field. It's like complete opposite of what was said or it's so, I don't know, the context can change so easily with what they put in the subtitles and what's actually being spoken. Um, but I'm rambling about things that aren't the build, but we're moving on to upstairs. I went pretty basic with this. Um, there's literally a bed, a wardrobe, a little side table, just just enough space to walk around the bed to get into bed or to go out the door onto the little balcony and there's like a little mirror and a couple plants and i put i took away the ceiling lamp and i put lamps on the wall instead because i don't use the ones that actually are on the wall very often i'll use them like outside um like on the front and back porch and things like that but i don't use them inside too much which i don't know like the house i grew up in had a a lot of those on like the inside like that was the thing in the 90s i guess where 
they built the houses in like the late 80s and 90s and they just they put all the lights like built into like the walls except the kitchens and like the bathrooms those were well no the bathrooms the bathrooms were like around like the mirror that was around the sink um but the the ones in the kitchen were like ceiling lights but i don't know they don't do that in the houses now like this house that i live in now was built in i want to say it was like 2005 and every floor of the house there's they're like built into the ceiling and they're these gigantic weird bulbs and they're really really bad for like bills and and things like that so we just never use them and we have lamps all over the room like i've got four lamps down here to light this place up um because my office and like my desk and everything for when i work and when i play video games is down here but like even upstairs like i guess their recess lighting is what they're called something like that but like the whole kitchen that's all the kitchen is and it's one switch that turns on like five of them so the kitchen gets really really bright but you keep that on for like an hour and it's going to cost you like 20 or 30 dollars just for that one hour it's it's crazy because they don't have like any environmentally friendly or good light bulbs in that size because it's such a ridiculous size like those light bulbs when you take them out are probably like eight inches long they're kind of like um kind of like a crystal vial almost except they're like a weird shape where they're like really bulbous on the end i don't know they're weird it's kind of like if you took a normal light bulb like your stereotypical light bulb and flattened out the bulb part like the round part and then made the whole thing like twice its size and like four inches longer than it needs to be i don't know they're weird they're they're very weird i don't like them i don't think we've ever replaced them because we just we never turn them on and we never use them because they they cost so much money to run um but we are coming up on the end here i did keep all the landscaping in let me know in the comments if you prefer to have that in or not or if there's things you prefer or don't really care to see or don't mind if it's cut out like i usually cut out like the bathrooms because i just i don't know i think the bathrooms are boring but that might just be the way i build them because if i have a house with multiple bathrooms odds are they're all gonna look the same because that's kind of how it is in real life and i just i don't i don't care to look at building of a bathroom unless it's something really really exciting but i know sometimes i do cut out the landscaping like with um a tudor house i did recently i cut that out but that was uh hours and hours and hours of footage of all the terrain tools i used and the landscaping and then the tool mod to get things at certain angles and blah 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 um but for this one i think this build in total since i didn't have to mess around with the shell and was very restricted in that regard couldn't you know change walls expand walls or anything like that it was about two and a half hours for all of this um which i think is a pretty good time uh considering all the ridiculous amounts of landscaping i did use the tool mod a little bit um here on the front where there's like slopes and like little short hills like where that staircase that first staircase from like the i guess the flattest level the lowest terrain level is um and i put a bunch around the pond i think i used island living i think that's what that that big like green grass bushy grass stuff is from i love using that when uh, i don't feel like using the little like yellow daisy looking landscaping thing that i use a lot to sort of like outline where things are going to go um, but I went pretty simple with the colors. It's mostly just a lot of green. There's a few little pops of yellow. And I did fill out this back deck that I added on. It's just a little table, a little grill. And I put some bushes under um, that deck since it's open. I had to use the tool mod for that. I want to say, yeah, I cut that out because it was a, a lot of messing around trying to figure out the right height to lower it to. And then losing things in the ground because I lowered it too much and all that. But you can see me messing around with the tool mod here at the end. And I do put a mailbox here at the front of that little path. Which it's, um, I think it's the one from Seasons. And I put a bunch of those, um, their base game, like that weird tall bush 
thing. I don't I don't know what the actual name for it was. I just I click on the picture and I'm like, yep, that one I just put in. I just I click on the picture, guys, and I just I don't know. That's what I use. I don't know the name of like 90% of the items in the game <laughs> because I just I'm like, oh, I like the picture of that. Oh, I like the swatch of that. Let's go. Let's put that one there. That looks good. Don't care what it's called. Just put it in. But we're finishing up with some terrain paint and I am going to go. We're going to go out to screenshots here in a second. But thank you so much if you enjoyed this build if you've made it this far um please do leave a like comment subscribe any of those other youtube things and i will see you guys next time bye everyone